Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel and today we're going to take a look at my Robinhood Dividend Portfolio. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Michael Romero. I'm a small time YouTuber, small time investor, looking to do some big things in the next few months, in the next few years, and, and in the many years to come. If you've been here before, then you know my investment strategy when it comes to my Robinhood portfolio. <laughs> but if you don't, I'm gonna go over it right now. <laughs> so basically, so basically, I'm a monthly dividend investor, guys. Um, what that means is I invest in companies that either pay quarterly or monthly dividends. And when I get those payments, I reinvest them. Um, I hardly ever sell for capital gains, but uh, sometimes, you know, if it is good enough, then I will do so. <laughs> Here shortly, we're gonna open up the phone and look at my Robinhood portfolio. But before we do that, let's go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm because you guys have been killing it lately and I appreciate it so much. I am forever grateful for you guys doing what you guys are doing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the phone. Um, I do believe the portfolio is around uh, 2,600, yep. $2,659.93. So today is Sunday, so there was no play in the market today. And tomorrow is my favorite day of the week, Monday, because that's market open. And we get to really see how the week is gonna turn out. Um, my favorite day of the week used to be Friday, because it was payday, but now it's Monday, because I get to, that's when my week starts for investing and everything I'm trying to do when it comes to personal finance and investing. Monday is the perfect day to start all of that. But guys, let's go ahead and check out what we got going on. So the past day, um, we're up by $18. That's 0.69%. Over the past week, we are up $2.78, which is around 10%. Past month, we're up $125.55 which is about $4.95. And over the past three months, we're up $144.40, which is about 5.74%, guys. Um, I did receive some free stocks from you guys, if you seen my last video, on the spreadsheet, which I have here in the background, all these and whatnot. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you guys to check that out, because that's a good video. It really shows, it shows you basically how I keep track of everything. So let's go ahead and see um, what we got going on. Ford, I'm down $2 at 46 shares. Apple, I'm down $2.82. I have 11 shares. AG&C, 10 shares, we're up $12.22. MJ, which is an ETF, I have nine shares and I'm down $19.03, but I'm not worried about that. I think that's our biggest loser in the portfolio. SPHD, another ETF, I have eight shares and I'm up $19.45. Bank of America, I have seven shares and I'm up $40.61. Uh, Coca-Cola, I'm up $4.81, but I have about seven shares of those. PSEC, I have about seven shares and I'm down about five cents. MPW, I'm up $18.83 and I have about five shares. Stag, I have five shares, I'm up $10.78. AT&T, I have four shares, I'm up $10.20. Uh, PFE, Pfizer, I have four shares, and I'm up $10. WPG, which is a stock I received because one of you guys, or really two of you guys, um, signed up for Robinhood using the link I have in the description. If you want a free stock and you don't have Robinhood yet, if you click the link, you download Robinhood using that stock, I'm sorry, using that link, we both get a free stock. You don't have to do it, it's all on you. I ain't gonna be mad at you if you don't. Um, o, which is realty income, we have one share, we have, and it's up $5.89. And IBKC, Iberia Bank, we're up $1.18 and I have one share. And INSG, which is not a dividend stock, um, we are up $7.29. This is also another stock I got from you guys. I actually might keep this stock because I'm very interested in it on how it's going to do with 5G. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually in the field of telecommunications when I'm not YouTubing or investing. Um, let's go ahead and see what I added to. So, um, 
November 20th, I bought one share of Apple. Apple Hospitality Reap. Now, not Apple, you know. November 20th, I bought one share of Coke. November 25th, I bought one share of PSEC. Prime Group, Glue, I sold that. Um, November 29th, I bought, oh no, okay, I got a dividend payment. But we'll get to that later. This is the newest um, addition to the portfolio, Iberia Bank. Um, I actually banked with this bank. That's kind of why I bought it, and I am very interested in how this is gonna do in the financial sector. Um, I bought one share at $71.39, so, and it is a dividend uh, stock. Let's actually see the dividend yield. So, Iberia Bank is the newest in the uh, portfolio. It is 2.73% uh, percent of my portfolio. I'm up $1.18. As you can see here, the 52 week high is $81.86 and the low is $6.82 with a dividend yield of 2.47%. Um, it may be somewhat overbought, but I do believe that <laughs> I do believe that this bank is going to go up because like I said, it's a bank that I bank with and they are very excellent when it comes to customer service very excellent when it comes to a lot of rates they give for loans and bank accounts and all that so they do have a lot of business especially where i'm from um established in 1994 if it goes a little bit lower i definitely will add more shares to this bad boy here let's see <clears throat> december 4th i bought one share of at&t Also December 4th, I bought one share of MJ, the cannabis uh, ETF. Also December 4th, I bought one share of Ford. And we're still not below the $9 mark on Ford, but we are getting there. But as you guys can see here, let's see where we are on the Ford stock. We're at $9.04, our average cost. We're definitely trying to drop this below $9. Once we get it below $9, I think I will slack off unless it goes even lower on the on the sale. It keeps continuing to trend down. Then I can get it even more of a sale price. So as you can see here, December 3rd, I bought three shares. And December 4th, I bought one share. So that's a total of four more shares that I bought. November 25th, I bought one share. So I bought about six shares since the last time I made a video. Here. Um, Let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and see for the month of November, since it is December now, what dividends we got for the month of November. So, November 1st, <laughs> November 1st, AT&T, we got, for owning two shares, we got paid $1.02, which is an average around 51 cents per, per share. November 12th, we got AGNC. Since we had 10 shares, we got paid $1.60, which was around 16 cents a share. November 16th, uh, sorry, November 15th, since we had five shares of Stag, it paid a 60 cents, which is around $11 a share or $12 a share. November 15th, again, O, Realty Income, we got paid 23 cents for owning one share. Now, November 18th, Apple, Apple Hospitality Reap, we got paid 10 cents a share. So since we had nine shares, we got paid 90 cents. November 20th, we got paid 18 cents for only three shares of PSEC. That's about six cents a share. November 29th, we got paid $1.27, I'm sorry, $1.24 a share for owning SPHD, the, uh, high, the high dividend, low volatility ETF. For owning eight shares, we got paid 15 cents or a share. 15 to 16 cents a share. So $1.24. This is, and November was our biggest month yet for dividends. I think it was about $5.70. But as you can see here, for the month of December, we already, for the, for the two we got so far, Ford and Ford and Pfizer, we got paid almost more than last month total. So let's see. As of this month already, December 2nd, we got paid $1.44 for owning four shares of Pfizer. 
which is around three, uh, 36 cents a share. Let's see what else. Um, December 2nd, again, we got paid 15 cents a share for owning 33 shares of four. So that was $4.95. Now let's see, AGNC, $1.60 again. O, 23 cents again. Stag, 60 cents again. Apple Hospitality Reed, $1.10. Uh, I think we had less last time, but $1.10. Coke, let's see, $2.80. My last payment was way less than this, but that's how you do it. You reinvest the dividends and each time you'll get paid even more and more. Let's see, WPG, 50 cents for only two shares which is WPG is the free stock I got for you guys signing up using my link in the description. PSEC, uh, 42 cents, and Bank of America, $1.26. And that's not including what else I'm gonna have toward the end. I think SPHD is usually the last one we have. So we're closer. I think we're even above $10 right now. As you can see, see how much it jumped from month to month. Guys, that's how it works when you are dividend investing and reinvesting your dividends and continuing to add money every week to your account. But as you can see here, I'm up $144.40 over the past three months, which is close to 6%, guys. That is what we are trying to do. We're trying to get them gains and we're trying to get them dividends down packed. So guys, as you can see, um, the month of December should be two times as much as last month. I think it went $3 and then $5.10 and then $5.77 over the past three months. So it was $3, $5, $5. Next month it'll be 10 bucks. And then it should only keep on going up from there. That's how it works. That's how compound interest works, guys. Since we are almost done with the year, I'm very excited to see what next year has in store. 2020 is gonna be a big year. It's gonna be a big year for the channel. Hopefully we're gonna be making some major upgrades to production, maybe get a new camera, maybe get an external microphone to get better sound quality, better lighting, better laptop. Guys, <laughs> if you found value out of this, go ahead and hit that like button. If not for the value, then just at least for the YouTube algorithm, because like I said earlier, guys, you guys have been killing it and I'm forever grateful, forever thankful for what you guys have been doing for this small time channel. And, all right guys, and if you're watching this and you still haven't hit that red subscribe button or subscribe to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can become a part of this little family we got going on guys. As this little baby YouTube channel is growing a little bit every day and I'm so excited to see what 2020 has in store for me and you guys, the portfolio in this channel. And guys, listen, if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, go ahead and click one of these videos.